the 65th Grammy Awards are in LA this Sunday, and you know what happens at award shows, right? Gifting lounges. Our favorite gift guru, Lash Ferry, is with us tonight to spill what's inside this year's Grammy swag bag. Say, how are you? I am so great. It's lovely to chat with you again. Yeah, so what, what are the stars getting? What, what's in the swag bags this year? I have to say, this is our 24th year putting these together for the Grammys, and I think this might be our best year. Um, I'm always a little hard to judge my own work, but I'm pretty excited about what we're sharing. So we've got some big ticket items for them, like we have from Aper. This is a cordless robotic pool cleaner. It's so, so cool. We have $1,400 Bugaboo Fox 3 strollers, and what's so amazing is that for every $1,400 stroller they give out to a celebrity in the gift lounge, they're going to donate one to a family in need through an inspiring organization called Baby to Baby. Beauty products are always some of my favorite parts of the gift bag. And from Rifa, they're doing their Rifa Fine Bubble S Beauty Showerhead. This is so cool. It uses a Japanese technology to create little bubbles that are able to penetrate the pores for deeper, better cleansing and moisturizing. We've got TurboFlex Eyewear Back. This is the only eyewear in the world that you can do this too. You can sit on them, you can bend them. <laughs> They're practically indestructible. We've got this gorgeous jewelry from Grosse Japan. They were actually part of the gift lounge last year. Nika Newton wore the earrings that she picked out in the gift lounge to perform on the Grammy stage with John Legend. We've got my go-to skincare line, Miage Skincare, doing their entire line of, this is a line that's based on human stem cell science to make your skin look its absolute best at any age and the list goes on and on one of the coolest items this year is from m cacao this looks like just a normal box of chocolate but it's going to play in a second there's a video message you can record your own <laughs> video message and embed it right in the box so that your gift of chocolate becomes one of a kind this is called expressio from m cacao and the chocolates are exquisite oh i'm sure that sounds so cool that's great for all of us non-celebrities too if we can find that for a holiday or valentine's day everything is so accessible i mean you can go on our instagram and get connected to all of these brands many of them are minority owned female owned lgbt owned um, we've got kaleidoscope which is one of the great success stories of black female entrepreneurs i'm um, doing her whole hair care collection so and a lot of it's very accessible what does it go you know what kind of work does this take to put together these swag bags? Because I assume you're trying to fill different categories, right? So everything's not just beauty products. You are absolutely correct. Although I'd be quite delighted <laughs> with a bag of beauty products myself. That's always my favorite part. But yes, you know, there's a pretty diverse mix of people, ages, genders, you know, all sorts of things on the show itself. And these go to all the presenters and performers. So we try to cover all of our bases, stuff for dudes, stuff for guys. Um, stuff for the ladies and all ages. So it, it does take a lot of work and we do make sure we, we have a little something for everybody. That's awesome. I know that we can follow you on Instagram and just see all the ins and outs, uh, you know, up close and personal. I do have a question for you about the Grammy. Yeah. Uh, before we go tonight, who do you think should win album of the year? If you don't know all the choices, I got them for you. Abba, Adele, Bad I don't even Bunny. need to know. I'm oh, going to yeah. pick the album of the okay. year category the same way I picked my trainer at the gym from the pictures on the wall. It's okay. going to Harry Styles. Harry Styles. He was last on my list, <laughs> only because it was alphabetical, I think. I, You know, he had the biggest 2022 in music, in my opinion. He's up against some big names with Beyonce being in there and Lizzo. But I'm going to go with you. I think it's going to be Harry Styles, too. He's one of the nicest human beings on the planet. I have a red glitter tracksuit inspired by his <laughs> onstage outfits that I'm planning to wear tomorrow. Um, and he's so kind. So we have these amazing shirts. It's called Lumi by Marie. Um, and it's about putting kindness into the world. And that's sort of inspired by Harry as well. Yeah. Kindness and beauty, things that Harry embodies. I'm pretty interested to see if he can top 2022, honestly, in 2023. But kicking it off with album of the year would be good. <laughs> if anyone can, Harry can. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. I will make sure to link it to your social media so we can see all this cool stuff a little bit more up close and personal. Enjoy the Grammys. You too. <laughs> the Grammys, of course, are Sunday night on CBS. We'll be right back with Alan Heating and Cooling.